Hello children, I am your maths teacher. So which chapter were we learning? Numbers, right? And last we did assignment 8. That is to form the greatest and the smallest number using the given digits. Okay, so assignment 8, first 3 we have done. This is the first, fourth one, okay? The set of numbers are 8, 3, 2, 1, 5, 7, and 9. Okay? I'm writing G for greatest and S for smallest. Okay? Just short. Okay? Now, which will be the greatest? So, for the greatest number, we did 3 of them. So, you know, you understood by now, right? So, greatest, you will write in the descending order, right? So, we'll first write the biggest number here. Then the next. Then the next. In the descending order, you have to write. 3, 2, 1. And for the smallest, you will write just the opposite. That is in the ascending order. 5, 7, 8, 9. Now you will put the commas here. Here. So this is how you do for greatest and smallest. Next set is 4, 0, 3, 1, 8, 9, 6, 5. Okay. So this is the number. So we have to write the greatest and the smallest here also. So first here. You have to write the greatest means what will you do? You will write the biggest number here. It is 9. Then This 9, then 8, then what comes next? 6, then 5, then then it is 4, then there is 3, then there is 1, and there is 0, right? So how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, here you will put the commas here. Here and here. Okay. Now, the, for the smallest, you will write in the reverse order. But, for the reverse order, smallest is 0. Can you write 0 in the starting? You need an 8 digit number, right? If they have given 8 numbers, you have to form an 8 digit number. So, if you write 0 in the beginning, it will only be a 7 digit number. So, don't write 0 in the starting. What is the next smallest? 1. And then you will write 0 in the second place. Then you will write the next smallest. Then 4. Then 5. Then 6. Then 8. Then 9. So here this will be the what? This will be the smallest and this will be the greatest number. Okay. Now question 6 is the set of numbers are 2. 5, 3, 8, 0, 1, 7. So, you have to write the greatest, which is the biggest here, digit 8. Then 7, then 5, then 3, then 2, and 1, and 0. Next one. You have to do the reverse, right? You have to form the smallest one. So, you will write the smallest is 0. That you can't write. You'll write 1 and 0 in the second position. 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. So this way. So this will be the greatest and smallest. Now in this assignment 8, there are two more questions. Those are homework. So you will do it yourself. Okay? Everything teacher will do, that's not fair, right? If you do yourself, you'll understand it better. Okay? Okay, fine. Now children, next they, have, they are giving a few examples. So till now, they were giving seven di uh, digits and you have to form a seven digit number, right? Greatest and smallest, like that. So here, the question is different. See? You have to form the greatest 7 digit number 
using 8, 0 and 1. So, they have, we have to use all these digits. Huh? 8, 0 and 1. Means all these numbers. And you have to form a 7 digit number. Okay. So, it has to be the greatest. That means, what will you do is, you can use the, which is the biggest number here. It is 8. Okay. So, you have to form a 7 digit number. You have only 3 number, uh, uh, numbers here. So, you can use 8 as much as you can. Okay. Then, you put a 1 and 0 at the end. So, you need a 7 digit number, right? So, 1 and 0 will make 2 digits, right? 2. Then, remaining 5 you have to write. See, I am using 8 the maximum time. Why? I want the greatest number. So, I can use 8 only 5 times. Why? I have to use these 2 also. Okay? I can not write 8, 8, 8, 8, 7 times. If, you're, if I write like that, I would not, I will not be using 1 and 0. So, that is not the way to do. You have to use 1 and 0 also. But you can use it any number of times. So, when they are asking the greatest number of time, what you have to do is, you have to see which is the, first see which are the, which is the biggest digit. Okay, that you will use the maximum number of times. Which is the biggest number given in the set of numbers. Then how many numbers are left? 2. So that means 7 from 7, 2 you have to write these 2. The rest of 5 of the 7 digit, rest of 5 you can use 8. Understood? Means this 1 and 0, 1 is the bigger number no? after 8. So 1 and 0 you can write at the end. But the rest what of the 7 digit you can use 5, 5 times 8. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. That is 5. Okay? 5 digits. Then 1, 0 will give you 7 digit. So this will turn out to be the greatest 7 digit number. So what will you do? You will first, how many digits are right? First write, uh, see in the descending order. 8, 1, 0 will be the descending order, right? So, this 1, 0 will come at the end. Okay? Then, the rest you can write how much ever times you need to form a 8 digit. So, if you write 1, 0 in the end, how many more digits you need? That is only 2. You need 5 more digits to make it a 7 digit number. Right? So, this way, this way. Is it clear? Clear, no? 2 of these you have to write here. Then, you have to form a 7 digit number. Means... The rest also you have to write. So how many? You will write 5, 8 and then this 1 and 0. Okay. This is to form the greatest 7 digit number. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Now they have given another set. But here you, have, you don't have to form the greatest. Here you have to form the smallest 8 digit number using 1, 5, 8 and 3. So for the smallest it will be how? In the ascending order. So first what we will do side we will write them in the ascending order. How will it be? 3, 5, 8. Okay. So you need to form the smallest. Okay. And that has to be the 8 digit number. So to form the smallest the smallest number here is which is the smallest number here? 1. So, 1 you have to use maximum times. Okay. In the other one used 8 maximum time. Why? You are forming the greatest. Here you will use 1 maximum time. And this also you have to use. This you will write last in the end. So, you, whatever number you are forming, you will have to write 3, 5, 8 in the end. Okay. Then you are going to form a 8 digit number means 1, 2, 3 digits are done. Rest how many are there? 8 minus 3? 5. So 5 more digits how will you write? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ones and 3, 5, 8. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 digit number. So that you have formed the 8 digit number. Then you will put like this. Understood? So you are using the 
to form the smallest number you are using maximum time the smallest smallest number using uh, eight digit number you are using the smallest number given the maximum number of times see you are using one five times then you have to use the other numbers also three five eight so that you will write in the end so this will be the smallest number you can form using this okay understood okay now for the next question you have to form the smallest seven digit number using 601 so in this case see they are telling to form the smallest in the greatest they had zero what did you do you wrote the zero at the end right but here you have to form the smallest means here the smallest number is actually zero but you can't write zero in the front can you you can't write zero first zero 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 can you write like that to form the smallest no so you have to write the first in the left side will be what one okay the next smallest then you can write zero as many times after one so you'll have to write six at the end okay you are forming a seven digit number right so one in the starting and six at the end that means how many are left now five of the seven five digits uh, two digits you have already written then you have to write five of five more than one two three four five okay understood so here because zero is the smallest here you will write the next smallest first then you will write the smallest that is zero as many time as you want then the remaining digit that is six how many time you want not as many time minus including this and this you need one two digit will be there so the remaining five digits you can use zero other two you have to give two places two digits two places for one for one for one and one for six then the remaining five places uh, places you can give for zero okay so this is how you form the smallest seven digit number when they have given one zero okay zero is one of the numbers then you will write zero in the second place but as many you need to form the seven digit okay if you write zero zero till five times uh, seven times eight times that is not needed why you are forming a seven digit number so after one when you put zero 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 if you reach five zeros it will be a six digit number so you have to put only one more digit that if you put zero that's not fair you have to use the six also right so the six you will put at the last okay so this is how you on the so here how will you put the comma here 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 okay so this is the smallest seven digit number okay so you are using the smallest when you form the smallest number using the a set of numbers what will you do you will use the small the smallest number in the set as as many times the maximum times you can okay only you can to form the seven digit number okay